What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul. Welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Halo Combat Evolved. Number 10. During Halo's first European press tour, the demo computer blew up. There was literally smoke. Joe Staten, lead writer and cinematic director of Halo Combat Evolved, remembers it well, saying, Having no computer made our first demo go, uh, poorly. Imagine, if you will, there's this green guy called Master Chief, and he's fighting against some purple space aliens called the Covenant. Cool, huh? Number 9. When Halo was changed to a first-person shooter, Microsoft suggested adding Combat Evolved to the title to make it more descriptive, like the military games they were competing with. Jamie Griesemer, a designer who worked on Halo Combat Evolved, said the following. The compromise was they could add a subtitle. Everyone at Bungie hated it. It turned out to be a very sticky label, so in hindsight, I guess it was a pretty good compromise. Number 8. If you kill Captain Keys after he gives you the pistol on the Pillar of Autumn mission, Cortana will say that you've gone rampant and the Marines on deck will shoot at you. Number 7. There was a mistake on the 12th page of the game's manual. The blueprints for the plasma rifle have the blueprints for the needler placed behind them. Number 6. In the level Assault on the Control Room, by flying a banshee onto the second platform above the control room and then standing at the edge on the right, the song Siege of Madrigal from an earlier Bungie game Myth, The Fallen Lords, can be heard. Number 5. In the limited collector's edition of Halo 2, there is an image of a precursor to the Warthog. It has no official name, but resembles the modern-day Hummers used by the United States military. Number 4. In Halo Combat Evolved, Captain Key's tunic features a Marathon logo, which is also the logo of the Pillar of Autumn. The text next to the tunic states, Hello, my name Keys. The missing is did not fit onto the texture for his in-game model. Number 3. According to a bonus disc included with the Legendary Edition of Halo 3, there was going to be an alternate story in Halo Combat Evolved that involved Master Chief finding Cortana inside the control room. She was to have been mad with power and intended on taking over the installation, the galaxy, and eventually the universe. Number 2. Originally, there was going to be a wieldable machete in the game. In a pre-release screenshot from the alpha version of the game, Master Chief can be seen holding a machete. Despite the fact that the weapon never made it into the final game, it can be seen in the various difficulty shields when selecting the difficulty. Number 1. It was mentioned during an episode of the Bungie podcast that there was an internal debate about how powerful the M6D pistol, the pistol in Halo Combat Evolved, should have been. It was stated that the weapon was supposed to be weaker, but an employee made a last minute code change that gave the pistol its power. In a July 2013 interview, Jason Jones was quoted as having said, I added the code specifically when the map was loaded to change the single number on the pistol. This was to increase the damage to what it was at its release. And later he said, I will take credit and the blame for the pistol in Halo. Alright, that's gonna do it for this top 10 video about Halo Combat Evolved. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.